Man, oh man, here we go again. Back with some second channel action and uh, update on the butt status. As y'all know, uh, the testosterone pellets. People wanna know I got them. So people are like, do you really get them for working out? Do you really get them for this or that? No guys, I got them because my testosterone is apparently that of like a 90 year old man, okay? Which personally, I would have never guessed. I'm just telling y'all what the blood work says. In fact, it's about the only thing. Oh man, what in tarnation? Our battery is not doing so good, but does it turn on? <laughs> hey, she'll still work. We'll just take it and uh, use a hope and a prayer that it'll be okay, how's that? Anyhow, what I'm saying is I'm, I'm about healed up. Uh, I need one more day of healing on it. So that kind of works out because we found, I say we found yesterday, at uh, dnh classics he sent me this little chevrolet love and he wanted it he didn't have time to get it or uh necessarily room for it with everything he has going on i think it was a 79 chevy love uh kids seem to have it running in a little facebook video which you know I, I always prefer to find them not running where we can get them running but i'm sure it could use a little love but the love could use some love they always can Hey, speaking of loves that need some love, <laughs> Slick was driving the other day and his full clutch pedal assembly straight broke off on the love tap. Yeah. So when we bought that thing and was getting it going, that was all floppy. If y'all remember, I had to make a bushing in there and I could tell they had broke that before and they had bugger welded it on. And uh, yeah, I guess it gave out again. So the love tap is down. She is down and out for the count right now. So we need to, uh, or Slick needs to get that thing lined out. This love we're gonna go pick up today. It is a four wheel drive. So that's what kind of uh, caught my eye on it. It's got a pretty good look to it from what I can tell in the pictures. Nice little patiner action. Y'all know I like me some good patiner. It does also have some rusty rockers and it says it's rusty. I don't know how rusty guys. I basically seen the outside. I probably could have asked for a little more pictures, but I didn't. Uh, so. The good thing about it being rusty is if, you, if you're not worried about fixing rust and you just want a four wheel drive, you can drive through the weeds and you can scratch it up and you can beat it up. Rust really don't matter. In fact, it makes it where it's like, hey, this thing ain't so nice that I don't want to just use it as a little around the farm farm truck. And also I've got a bad habit of buying cheap vehicles, uh, especially when they're cheap, cheap. So let's go buy us a cheap, cheap vehicle. I'm gonna grab one of these larges messaged the guy and asked him uh, about the truck a little bit and he replied back and said hey man i watch all your videos which is interesting because i didn't tell him who i was i just asked him uh, if he still had the truck or whatever uh but he seemed to uh, uh, be a fan of the channel which is kind of cool so i figure we'll take him a little uh, surprise here i asked him what size t-shirt he wears and speaking of merchandise i see some right there that needs to go out so we'll go drop that off too we'll kill like 17 birds with one stone how's that I hope so after work we go uh, Woo! took my vitamins we get us a little juice cocktail here and we'll be ready to hit the open road first we got some organic beet juice uh blood pressure guys i did not i have not ate beets i know that's supposed to be good for you but i have found out i love beet juice i think it's delicious Oh, 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 that's like a little puree action right there. We want to get all them chunks. Oh, yeah. That's like eating a beet right there. We'll give her a little splash of carrot juice. I like carrot juice, too. Well, I'm a juice drinker. Then we got this one, the Mega Antioxidant. You know what juice is not good juice? This juice right here, prune juice. Love it. Oh yeah, that's delicious. Oh yeah, the Torola rides. Come on, baby. Just whip on around here. Hey there, Wheel Hop Wilmer. We gotta, we gotta uh, transport that thing out to the house. I ain't thought about that. We gotta drop some stuff off at the post office. But holy cow, this place is busy. Hey, I'm trying to talk here. Little slinky poo behind us. We may swing by and see him later after we get back uh, from picking up this love. 
Gotta swing in the bank, get some mini truck money real quick. Oh, that ain't good. My crotch is plumb ripped out of these britches. Rocking a hood scoop. Right, I'm just gonna get you for me. Okay. Rocking a hood scoop today. <laughs> get that cool air coming in. Keep her from running hot. Be performing like a Lamborghini. Fast red one. All right, money secure. We gotta do the old switcheroo. -y. Oh yeah, she wants to tow. She's ready to go. Well, she's kind of out of gas, and we need to put some air in the helper bags. But other than that, she's ready to tow. All right, I have not done a lot of kneeling since the pellets, and it kind of has me nervous. I do still have a cut back there. I do have to take care of it. We definitely could not tow without our helper bags. These things have been a lifesaver for us. Don't mess up now, battery. We're gonna set her to about 35. What do you mean battery? You can do it. Woo, go girl, go. Oh, four eight sounds like she's getting a little chattery to me, but don't worry about that. She'll tow till she blows. Uh, she could use a little bath, but we're not too worried about that. We're just worried about going and getting our Chevy Love. get some gas or we're about to be in bad shape dang got the center lines on the s dime oh grandpa saw blades on the front classic texas truck we are filled up folks and uh, we gotta hop right back on the interstate for a little while longer we are right outside of midwest city i think uh which midwest city runs into oklahoma city all of us like pot countyans who live in small town everyone just calls it all the city because once you make it to one city it runs into another city and another city and another city and it's all the same dang we got the mansions out here big dog anyone need a jeep jeep for sale now we should be arriving at our destination soon i know that because uh i was living in la la land and i drove right past the place <laughs> so now we're down here in this nice neighborhood turning around and we're by the city so even though it's a little back road here there's about a thousand cars you gotta wait on my oh my i do spy with my little eye a chevrolet love and a chevy oh yeah we got extra cab over there and everything looks like we could give slick fitty a run for the floor pans for this one yeah she's got a little rust in the bottom rockers but that's okay you know what i like about it with it being like that i won't want to make it nice you can just drive it and if it well, tears up some it tears up I, bought it. I was just gonna put floor pans in it and then just drive it and use it as a little, little yeah road rig. Did you put a big old fuel cell in the back too? Yeah, it was free. Oh, sweet. I wasn't even expecting that. Yeah, I'm usually not a fan of the white wagon wheels, but something about them on this truck really works. Yeah, I know, that's why. That, that, that looks really good, man. That's why I put them on there. I, mean, it, I can't believe you didn't crank on the torsion bars. It looks lifted. Well, somebody might have my, before I got, well, if you look on the back, someone made some homemade Okay. shackles Okay, it. so yeah, really someone, someone's probably cranked on them already then. Probably. It'll rub a little bit when you're turning it. Red bumper. Got her looking pretty clean underneath here. Little Amazon carburetor. Yeah. That's all right. I just put it on there to get it to run around the yard. And yeah. So I can move it, but. It, it, it move around and everything? Yeah, I drove it five minutes before you got here. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I got, a, got a jumper wire. Yeah, fuel pump is hooked up to that. But. Sweet. You have been watching my stuff, ain't you? <laughs> Runs like a champ. It ain't very often we get one running already. Oh, Slick Fitty better watch out. She sounds a little dicey and spicy. If four won't hold it, six never would have. So he gave me the option. We could buy it with or without the tires. Uh, buying it with the tires is a lot more expensive, but it's because wheels are brand new, tires are brand new. Now, like I said, I'm usually not a white wagon wheel guy, but something about, about them on this truck is just absolutely perfect to me. Well, here's a t-shirt and some cash. Appreciate Forgot the, those stickers. Sorry about that. Oh, that's all right. Is this my cap? No, it's got a cap. Oh, <laughs> oh, 
hole in it and I just that disappointed me. I was hoping that was my cap. Uh, he did point out the bed is not bolted down. He didn't expect someone to get here this quick to grab it. So I hope I got an extra strap because I don't know how she would do it 80 down the interstate. May make it do a couple backflips. But you want to drive it over the trailer? Give her one last hoorah. <laughs> what a cool looking little truck, guys. He done, He stole all my thunder. Look. He said he built this when he was watching our videos, which is pretty cool because you can kind of see the influence here a little bit, which I think's awesome. I think he nailed the look. We ain't gonna do much more besides get it running, driving, stopping, which it is running, driving, ain't so much stopping. It needs some brake work, he said, as in it has no brakes, so slight amount of brake work. Uh, we may put the fuel pump on the key switch possibly. It ain't got no brakes, so he said he has it in four low right now. That way he can kind of control it. Nailed it. They do build some lift shackles. Yeah, freaking boogered them things, but yeah, I'll perfect build little more. ranch rig. Yeah. On the price and changing price on me, and then I go out to get it, and then it's a different price than when we said on the Oh, phone. man. And then, because he's tighter than bark on a tree with money, so I was like, you know what, just forget about it. And then, uh, I started watching, I was already watching your videos, but I kept watching them in like over a year. I was like, shoot, it's worth the money, he said, even if he's going to be a, you know, d about it. I was like, I'll just go get it and be done with it. So I go out there to get it, and then uh, he, I get out there, and he's like, you know what, just give me the original price I told you for it. He's like, I was like, okay, cool. So then I paid him for it, and then uh, we loaded it up, and I brought it home, and, you know, we took we had it up on blocks for, you know, a while until I could afford to get the wheels and tires for it, and, uh, you know, I was I probably wouldn't have bought new wheels and tires if I was expecting it to sit for this long, but I was planning on, you know, <laughs> getting it tagged and all that and driving it. Those are usually like my least favorite wheel, and I, yeah. I love them on here, I so. Thought, I mean, I thought they'd look good. And they, the, the only wheels that I hate worse than them usually on old school like mini trucks is like the Grandpa Saw Blades. Yeah. I got to set that as rollers, and I, I hate those things. Yeah, my buddies are probably going to be mad at me for selling it, though, because they all like it. Yeah. yeah they all. I tell them to tune in and they can watch it. <laughs> yeah. I, know, so I, I, mean, I told uh, the other two guys, one of the guys that was here with me when I first got it running, and driving, yeah. and he's like, I can't believe you sold that thing. And I was like, yeah, well, I was like, I might be able to get it, you know, see it, you know, actually getting used for yeah. something cool, you know. I mean, it's better than it's sitting here. And I, like I said, I don't really have no exact plans for it right now other than right, pl plan one's get it to the house. Plan yeah. two's go from there. <laughs> yeah. Underneath it. Good. Well, good golly, I was about to pull over on this shoulder, but everyone beat me to it. Oh, that's a big drop off for a little lowered travel off. Yeah, that ain't good. I knew I could smell something. What is smoking on us here? Don't smell like tire. Wheel ain't hot or nothing, so I don't know if it's brake. I don't know if we're losing a bearing. I could smell it as soon as we stopped, uh, but I didn't even actually pull over for that. That sucker is rolling smoke. That is not good. Uh, I wanted to check our bed strap because it kind of has me nervous. I want to redo it. Smoke is definitely coming from that side. Maybe we'll make it to the house. Got to be the bearing going out, right? I put new bearings on it. Probably why it's going out because I did it. There, that has me feeling a little bit better about it. Yeah, I can feel a little heat on it. Of course, going down the road, I ain't seeing no smoke, guys. This has kind of been a butt pucker and experience. I've had my hands on the wheels, uh, ready for crap to kind of hit the fan. Uh, I was going nice and slow, you know, nothing like holding up traffic down the interstate. But I'm kind of in a bad spot here because I don't know what to do. <laughs> to have someone come get me, I'd need someone with a truck and trailer that could get the travel off, and then someone with the truck who can just get my trailer. We'll stay creeping along here at a 
slow save speed and see if we can't make it to the house. I always did hate the rear end in this thing. I wish I would have never put it underneath this thing. I wish I would have got rid of it. Oh, we didn't even come to a complete stop. I still don't see no smoke. So dang weird. Made it to the stoplight here in town. Don't see any smoke at all. I still eat Taco Boy at least once a week. I think today will be that day. Well, let's see here. She is a little. And she don't feel any hotter than she did earlier. I have been stopping here in town. Ain't super duper hot. Uh, she could use some tires, I see. We got some dry rotting going on. That's good. Earlier, that sucker was pouring smoke. Without tearing into it, who knows? Thankfully, we made it to Taco Boy. And I'm going to go tear into it. I feel like I could smell it again, but I don't see no smoke. I don't know if I want to dig into that rear end. Just replace that rear end. It's been troublesome from the first time I ever tore into it, trying to find the stuff to rebuild it. It's like a weird crossover year. All the international specialists who thought it was gonna have this parts, well, it didn't have that part. It had those parts and you know, it was a nightmare. And I didn't know what to replace underneath there without narrowing a rear end. And long story short, I should have put a Chevy 14 bolt. Someone even suggested that, but I never realized they came in a six lug version and like the i don't know if it's a three quarter ton or what but either way or heavy half ton uh i ended up finding out about them after i did all that and it would be the perfect rear end to put in there uh but we probably won't be doing no towing with this thing until we can figure out what we're gonna do uh, i'll put it around here not far up and down the road but yeah you know, just add it to the list of stuff to do. No big deal. No big deal. Maybe sore cheek, but I still got my moves on me. You can mess around and find out. That one was a little tricky. Let's have a little look-see. We're going to look. Might as well do it when we're on the trailer. Shaft feels tight. Nothing too crazy. Now this stuff looks about like you expect, guys, like an old worn-out truck. Uh, that one is not so good, I guess. I don't even know if they make shafts for these things. She was an official member of the North American Hunting Club and Fishing Club. She's got the sliding back glass. That way you got somewhere to toss your roadies as you're going down the road in this rig. And yeah, someone did mangle some pans in here at some point to at least give your feet somewhere to sit oh she's bolted down about as good as the bed but that's all right we can take care of that too now nolan said he never lifted it but someone definitely had to have in the back we got the homemade jobbers right there roughly cut with a cutting torch uh yeah they'll hold until they don't if it ain't broke, don't fix it. The front, though, being lifted, uh, surely it has cranked on to torsion bars. Well, they don't look like they're plumb run down crazy. Oh, well, she's holding. That's good. The fuel pump just got a lot louder. Be careful how you pull yourself up in there. I wish the camera was up there. <laughs> yeah, brakes are overrated. I got her stopped back down there anyhow and she came back up. Uh, I know how we can go test to see if it's in four-wheel drive. We can just go do a little off-roading. She definitely feels low-geared. She's in four-wheel drive. Give her a quick test. Oh yeah, she's flinging some mud off the front. Uh, see we're holding a little bit of water right here uh, but right here we've got a little creek well kind of overflow from the people next to us 
And oh yeah, that sucker is uh, full of water. I ain't ever been down here to play, and so I don't know how soft it gets. So I bet we can go across this, no problem. Got a bug on my glasses. Get out of here. There's that piece of dirt. Yep, that's some dirt, not a bug. And now I got spit on there. Killing it. a hard drop off it was kind of we had to rock her a little bit but guys i'm no off-road machine i don't know a lot about mudding uh but hey that, i ain't mad at it okay that was such a hard drop off i found a little rut area and that's why it was struggling uh i do think the tow roller would have got stuck there i think we would have bottomed out oh truck don't sit low by any means and some of it's taller than my hand sticking out here come on baby boom you get up here you need to grab your cell phone to get the proper thumbnail picture unlock your door open that sucker boom quick release race truck professional this is the first mini truck I've ever been able to step out of and put a foot down. Usually, I gotta put a leg out and then pick myself up. This, I can kind of step out of, it's nice. When you get what you need, you get back in this race truck, just lock that sucker back on. Be ready to roll backwards, because you're gonna roll backwards. Roll a little more, roll a little more, roll a little more, and we should get it. What gears did these come with? If someone knows, comment down below. Get you a couple thumbnail pictures, you know. We got some water right here. Uh, holy pollen. Paint my shirt yellow. I don't know, this stuff here is pretty mucky. God dang it. Perfect place. Oh yeah, it's a little soft there. Got it rocking back and forth. The, uh throttle cable popped off we definitely just got us a better uh, thumbnail picture here hush it you definitely want to be doing this with no air breather that's smart she don't feel like she's running hot or nothing that's good oh is that what we're doing here I think this stop right there is too big for that hole down there. So I'm thinking he had it just shoved in like that, maybe. Yeah. Kind of bent that as much as I could to hopefully take some slack off that. Some of that rain coming through here took out the cedar tree. That thing's still alive. Fell on its side. Get her tripod set up, and if she gets to rocking, we're going to get her out of there. We lost our cable again. Uh, I did find this inside the cab. So I'm gonna take a piece of this and hopefully we can uh, hit it with the wang dangle, get it to hold up. There we go, that's what we need right there. Just what the doctor ordered.
Are we out of gas? And I think I'm out of gas, guys. I don't know what happened to my glasses. Hopefully they're in the truck. Uh, I don't have any gas out here, which is all right, I guess. I couldn't see no gas in the uh, fuel cell. It's kind of hard to see down in there. When I first got up there and cycled it, it was dribbling some in there, but it wasn't spraying mean like it should be or nothing. So, yeah. We probably could have checked gas before we started driving it around everywhere like we knew what was going to happen. <laughs> that truck's so small you can't even see it from up here on the hill. Right. Now luckily for me, we're kind of in a goofy situation. We forgot our house keys, me and Ashley both, in the rental car that we left in South Carolina. So we're having to have those keys mailed to us. Uh, so long story short, I ain't got shop keys right now because Ashley has the only set So I can't even get my shops so I had to go buy a gas tank or gas can I mean from the local hardware, which that's fine support your local businesses But I got us some fuel and hopefully this is our problem. Me and he's gonna have a love-hate relationship. I can already tell Well that beats the hell out of one of them safety cans though. I'll tell you that much Got my good shoes dirty. I may have a damn beaver right here. Or a beaver dam. Uh, because that's holding a lot of water right there. It's all dammed up. With any luck, I'm going to get set up again. And this time we're going to get her out. not helping nothing boy we are just burying it up here now the fan is smacking the water of course i ain't got no breather on there uh, so i'm sure we're drinking a little water i can't tell what's going on with it she don't want to stay running i didn't think it's gonna turn into all this yeah points and stuff are fairly dry i don't think that's giving us fits I know we're getting closer to having a submerged engine. I do know that. Acting like she ain't even trying now. Uh, we're definitely taking a little water on. Boy, I know I should have took this thing up there earlier. Guys, I don't think if our uh, throttle cable would have ever popped off, I don't think we would have ever got stuck. Honestly, I think we were doing all right. But, oh, we're not seeing good now. That's good, because uh, that's where we're going to have to get to uh, get down in here on this thing. I think Slick's coming out here. Uh, I just need a helping hand where we can check for spark. Uh, if not, maybe I, the tow roller ain't going to pull this out of here, not without this thing at least trying running. Maybe we could back the trailer down here and winch out to it and pull it. I don't know, guys. <laughs> I didn't plan on this thing dying. We're in bad shape. Now we're in real bad shape guys we were doing good until my hand knocked her into neutral which we can get this pulled out all this stuff right here is pretty solid it's right here that i knew was going to be a little gooey i was hoping we could make it over there and try tugging on that backwards not that it'll pull it up out of there uh, but i was hoping we could get the front out of the water enough where i could see where we could uh strap it on because i can't be getting my cut on my butt submerged in this nasty water we are now stuck right here. Slick is had, headed out here to give me a hand though. A little Torola. She just didn't have enough clearance, guys. That front bumper's in the ground. Yep. 
Yeah, she sure is. Pop the grill up out of her. Oh, Slick and Matthews here. Is it? This sucker's two-wheel drive, ain't it? Yeah. Half falls up there. We can go get the other off-road machine. <laughs> we get them all three stuck. <laughs> yeah. These two. <laughs> these two have got me this far. I guess we can uh, see what this old half haul's about. See if it's about it, about it. It's gonna take every off-road machine we got. <laughs> Get out of here, Hornet. I think we're free, boys. <laughs> we got old Pont County Thor in the back. Yeah, he's brave. <laughs> Cross one bridge at a time here. If we were crossing bridges from the start, we wouldn't be buried because <laughs> we, we needed a bridge down here. Rough on my head, but I hit the windshield. <laughs> oh man, that carburetor ain't happy at the low RPMs. It's just like all or nothing on the half haul. Well, the hitch has stayed on anyhow. <laughs> uh, look at the grill out past the hood. Oh, no. Boy, that sure got a lot gooier. Yeah. What go across that with that? No, I'm talking well, we can do that afterwards, mm -hmm. but <laughs> I'm talking about let's uh try that with that yank on it. It ain't gonna do it. That, that thing couldn't pull this running. What, what's your first assessment of the rig, Slick? I like it. <laughs> it's like mine, but just a hair taller. <laughs> yeah, yours ain't buried in mud. Mine's got a clutch pedal. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Mine did break off. <laughs> All right, go for it, Slick. We ain't got no spark. Everyone's shocked. <laughs> that right there, he left a jumper wire in here, I found. So that to that is ensuring our coil is hot. So I'm gonna, yeah, see all that water that comes out of there? That's what you always wanna see. We'll check this one right here and see what happens. I'm sure this is good, me being plumb covered in water. Go ahead, Slick. All right. We do have a spark coming out of there. Check our rotor here. She is a little wet. Oh, everything's a little wet. We have no way of getting it dry. Yeah, we got water all in this cap now, so. Send a Matt to look for a rag and he had one in his britches. We drop it in the water. <laughs> if it would freaking run, quit messing, uh, I think we'd get it out of here pretty easy. Every time that thing runs, it just splashes it with water again. <laughs> this is why we build lowered stuff slick. So it looks like we're trying to get in the off-road market. Yeah, how's that going? <laughs> I mean, this, ain't, this ain't the first time we've been stuck in something like this. That's true. <laughs> Keep trying to get spark out of our plug wires and just can't get it, guys. I get it out of our coil wire. Uh, but I can't get it back through our distributor. I keep drying the stuff off, blowing it off, drying it off. It ain't working. That'll work. It's probably the only thing that's gonna be stuck right here. That's the only thing stuck in here? Yeah, I'm sure we'll find something else to get stuck right here. We're just getting started, buddy. <laughs> about dead on the winch at least right there it's out of water i am not an off-road machine guys we're kind of up out of here that pipe i'm not too worried about i think we got clearance but if we go up there that's a wall if we can go up over here i think we'll winch out so i think i need to whoop, rearrange good put more 
Matthew's holding brakes again. We re-stabbed that and I swapped our little rope to that side so we can try to take it that away. Good old winch of shame going on here. Well, thanks to the help of a couple buddies, because I only had so many hands, we're out the hole. Uh, ain't this how they used to make mud huts? You pack a little hay, a little mud together. I just want it to fire up where we can drive it. It fires up, I just take it right back through the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Try again. Yep, battery's had enough. Go ahead, Slick. Oh, yep, yeah. she's going. In fact, it sent it through there, up through this strap, and straight to that thumb. One time I felt it. About 50,000 volts worth. started about a yeah. 30 minutes ago that's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right at least we got the trailer ready second time was not a charm hey we'll get it running better and go for three guys that that little sinkhole ain't that bad uh, this thing has plenty of clearance i do believe i think the tires would be fine it's just plumb falling on its face that little carburetor ain't liking the high rpms where it needed to be uh to potentially get it up out of there and the first time, I still think it would have went if we wouldn't ever lost the damn throttle cable. But that's all right, because now the little Chevrolet Love has an arch nemesis who we have to conquer at some point, and that's fine. Rivalries are good. It, uh, it fuels competition, and she's officially in a contest. Officially in a contest to show that her mama didn't raise no punk. A uh, big thanks to Slick and Matthew for coming and helping me out here. How long you had that shirt, Matthew? Good golly. Two and a half years. Yeah. Not if she wants to push a shame, she gets the push of shame. She got two winch of shames, two drag of shames, because the travel all did drag it up out of there twice. Yeah. Now it gets the push of shame. Shoot, at least we got a little mud on the old Torola. She's been looking a little soft here lately. <laughs> Look like a mall crawler now. She yeah, she ain't no mall crawler. She ain't no mall crawler. Yep, this is not gonna go good. I can already tell. Oh no, the tire's going to get it. Oh yeah, she'll shove. Buy it, break it. That's all I did today. It's alright guys, because I was a little worried for a second, because that had been really hard to do by myself. But once Slick said he could run over here real quick. Uh, yeah, I had kind of fun doing that today. I've been... Oh, shoot. <laughs> I think two just become one. Yep, our bed is definitely sitting on our hood. That's all right. She'll still push. Kind of acting like a forklift right now. I'll be sure to fling y'all with this mud. You're hard on equipment, I'll tell you that. There we are. All of us. Oh! <laughs> 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 Exhibit A. <laughs> he just ran over the push tire. Oh no! <laughs> 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 Done. 
doing that if I tried. Oh my god. I heard it pop off, but I was like, surely I'll back up and miss it. Today is just not my day. He loses the brakes and smacks the front of it. <laughs> no, tow roll ain't no punk though. Bed may be rubbing her tires. She's a unit, ain't she? Absolutely. Bed's got a body lift now. Oh, get my glasses here, won't be all packed up. What year is this fine machine? 79, I think. Same year as mine, watch out. Say we throw some parts at her, regroup. Back to the mud hole we go. You can't have a spot on your land you can't go. That's like un-American. Yeah. <laughs> this thing will do it. Well, that's it, guys. I guess all we did today was tear some stuff up. Uh, let's see. We tore up a wheel bearing, I think. Maybe. Possibly. On the travel off. We uh, gave the tow roller hood some new custom body work. Ran over the pusher tire. Got this thing buried. Let it. Let that little sinkhole. I mean, I've, I've rode my... 20 inch uh what's that brand murray you yeah. get them at the walmart yeah yep, i had a lime green one I, I rode it through bigger holes than this thing uh, got stuck in so you win some you lose some i still think this thing's a win i think it's gonna be a lot of fun to have around here i had fun even when we got stuck it was a good time so we'll uh y'all know what the plan is we're gonna get it running better i'll probably give it a little uh a little look transformation at some point We'll maybe buff back what's there or patina saucer or something. I may have to add some 4x4 stripes. Give her the 80s retro look. Big thanks to Slick and Matt for coming out saving me. And I guess that's it, guys. Y'all know I'm on the Instagrammer. I'm on the Patreon. We've got that good quality merchandise at the puddingsfabricationshop.com. We're kind of running pretty low right now. And our vendor kind of messed up our release time. Uh, so we'll be expecting new stuff soon, possibly next week. And uh, do not forget, sitting on your ass, don't finish a project. I've got a project. Clean everything I own. Nah, it looks good like this. Yeah, so it can't see. Yeah, just the windshield, you'll be all right. Oh, poor girl. Maybe a weld hell after you roll it, ran her over. So. Oh, them, them welds ain't going nowhere. Bumper's a little. Shh. Hot damn, there's so much BSRE. We had to start a whole channel for all the extras. Be sure to go check out Puddin's Fab Shop if you ain't seen that baby yet. Come on!